was a rumble in the jungle once I heard dad was outside again counting birds And mama plugged in the nightlight and I saw the queen of the world Welcome to the Golden Hour Bird Podcast. I am your co-host Liv and I'm your other co-host Natalie And tonight we have our friend Eleni on sharing her birth story of her beautiful baby boy. Eleni, thanks so much for coming on. Thanks for having me. So she's actually a really good friend of one of our other, Lauren, if you remember her birth story, she's like our second host, our guest, but they're like besties. <laughs> <laughs> so it's fun having all these friends on. But if you want to go ahead and tell us a little bit about your family and we can go from there. Sure. So Walter and I met back in like 2018 at a mutual friend's bar, The Hideaway in South City. He worked there and I was a customer like too often. <laughs> <laughs> and one of our friends who was bartending made a joke about how Walter thought I was pretty. And I was like, that kid's like 20 years old. Like, go away. <laughs> anyway, we ended up just like bonding right away. and. Spent a lot of nights together, and as time went on, we I told him I was falling in love with him, but we're at Pops, and he said, so romantic. <laughs> Beautiful love story. So yeah, here we are. We're not married yet. We want to get married in Mexico someday. Ooh. But yeah, I love it. Wally was not going to be a part of the wedding party, but now he is. <laughs> Walter's a financial factor. I run a dog walking business. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to check your Instagram account if anybody needs a dog walker in St. Louis. Mean, it's <laughs> this little business because I take Wally with me, so my availability is odd. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I can do three walks in a row, but that's it. <laughs> Other than that, I gotta spread them out. Yeah, you got like nap time, then yeah, yeah, and eating, then <laughs> culturally, <laughs> and then you get your. He's nine months now. No. Now you're getting into that like. Three meals a day plus two snacks and all that. Yeah. It's it's so much harder when you, you transition to food. It's fun to transition yeah. to food, but like, yeah, it's like you can't just give them a bottle anymore on the go. Yeah, that like, I like did not think about that for some reason. I was just like, like I, I got the hang of this baby thing, and I was like, okay, <laughs> I have to feed them now, like <laughs> real foods. What? Yeah. Once you get the hang of it, it changes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was parenthood. <parallel. laughs> <laughs> <That's true. laughs> Shit. <laughs> Sums it up nicely. Yeah. So do you want to tell us about how you got pregnant? I mean, we all know how. Yeah. But when you first got it. <laughs> what really happened at Pops? <laughs> yeah. I, I wish I could tell you. So I have been on birth control since I was 15. I decided to get off of, I always had like a Nuba ring or like something that was not the pill because I didn't mm-hmm. have to remember to take something. Anyway, I switched to the pill for some reason and it made me just like this gloomy blob of a person. And Walter even noticed he was like, you are just like, are you okay? Aww. So uh, we both decided that I was just going to like get off birth control. And it was like no plan. We were just like, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Yeah. And like two weeks later, I was pregnant. Oh, my God. I remember waking up one night and I like woke up in the middle of the night. And I was like, I think I'm pregnant. And then I just went back to sleep. <laughs> and then I just like ignored that thought for a while. And Walter used to go on my night dog walks with me. Mm-hmm. So he was with me one night and was like, you know, trying to figure out if we should go to the bar for a drink afterwards. And I was like, I don't know, my period has been kind of weird. Like, I'm crampy, so I think it's like early. I don't know. It's not so great. And he was like, should I go in pregnancy? <laughs> like a pregnancy test right now? And I was like, sure. So we went and got like while I was walking this dog. And he met me back at the house. And I'm not going to tell you the party it was because it's so not. <laughs> but I took the test at their house. And I walked outside and I was like, we're pregnant. <laughs> so we did not go to the bar. <laughs> we <laughs> drove home and I took another test. I chummed water on the way off. <laughs> like, we're taking that one. Positive again. And I called my sister right away and she was like, What are you going to do? Like, I was like a teenager. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was 
At first, I was like, why did she respond like that? And she told me later, she responded like that because she didn't know what my plan was going to be. Mm-hmm. And she wanted to support me in whatever I decided. And mm-hmm. I was like, Mary, that's so sweet. I thought you were just being a jerk. Bless your heart. But yeah. I was in the appointment. Yeah. So fun. Were you taking the pill, like, really well? Or no, that's why I never wanted to be able to not. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm pretty, I know. Okay. So I love schedules and I'm really organized, but you know, I was kind of willy nilly mm-hmm. about like times and stuff. And I'm just, yeah. I don't know. Maybe I did it wrong. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but there's a right way. Yeah. I hated the pill. The pill is so hard because you have to like have it. Right at that time. Uh huh. Yeah. And you have an alarm on your phone and it's like birth control and everybody's like peeking. You're like, oh, we well, all know. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't think I even had an alarm. I was just like, take it in the morning. Yeah. I was just like, <laughs> I don't know why I was so, maybe I was just like secretly trying to get pregnant. And like, I don't know. <laughs> Subconsciously. Well, yeah. <laughs> Did Walter, like, was he excited? Did you want to have kids? Yes. Well, at first he was like, he had just started at Northwestern Mutual. It's like, not even a year in. And he was like, but I'm not established yet. Yeah. Like, I like, wanted to, like, we and had a lot more things we wanted to get done before we got pregnant. Yeah. But he was really excited. He called his mom immediately. I waited to tell my parents because I had this like whole elaborate thing where I figured out how to write it in Greek. That I was pregnant. Oh, and thank you. I was like, really surprised with the parents. So I went to their house and I wrote it down and I was like, Dad, I want to get this tattoo in Greek, but I want to make sure it says like what I wanted to say before I get it. And he was like reading it and was like, it like didn't translate correctly. And he <laughs> said something else. I don't remember what he said. And I was like, oh, I'm pregnant. <laughs> I'm just like cracking <laughs> out. It's so funny. <laughs> Damn it, I wanted it to be so cute. That's such a cute <laughs> idea. <laughs> I told Walter the film too, and it was like all wobbly, like just it was all bad. I could just like see that happening, like with my mom, like trying to write it in Serbian or something, and she's like, no, not as like not close. <laughs> he said something that wasn't even close. I think he said like I'm like I'm waiting or something. I was like, what? <laughs> No, I was like, read it again. He was like, I wait. And I was like, what? <laughs> like, that's a weird tattoo to get. But yeah. Like, yeah. What are you waiting for? <laughs> Second generation Greek. That's hilarious. So I feel like I already know this answer, but how was pregnancy? Physically, it was like, Pretty easy peasy. Yeah. There were in the beginning, I remember going on the dog walk. It was very cold. And I did not realize like how sensitive your <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And he was like crying because it was like, you know, it was cold. <laughs> and they were like casing. And I was like, <laughs> like that was the only physical pain that I cried about <laughs> while I was pregnant. Cause I was like, going older. My nipples just hurt really bad. <laughs> You can understand. <laughs> and I don't you know, I don't think you felt that bad for me, but whatever. And I had some ligament pain and some back pain, but like I always have back pain because I wear not the best shoes and I walk a lot. Mentally, it was not what I thought it was gonna be. Mm-hmm. My mom has always like kind of not pushed me to get pregnant, but my sister had just not a plans of ever having kids her and her husband are perfectly happy with their fur babies which is fine mm-hmm. yeah so my mom is always just like okay oh, baby okay. Oh, baby <laughs> like, you know poking me so i was like i felt like i needed to be so excited mm-hmm. but like when i first found out yeah i was like shocked i did cry because i was like that's like i don't want to sound selfish but like i'm not ready yet yeah you know yeah. like i'm still I still want to live the lifestyle that I'm living. I still want to hop over to the bar when I feel like it. Uh, but, you know, <laughs> I get over. Yeah, I felt really bad because people would be like, are you excited? And I'd be like, yeah. <laughs> I did eventually get excited. And I just had a hard time, I guess, because of that bonding. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You just kind of felt like a streak. They are. Really? 
Yeah, they are strange. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, they really are. Because you're like, what are you? What are you doing? Yeah. Who are you? Yeah. And they change so much. Like, you know, the person he came out as. Yeah. Doesn't even look like you or Walter. Yeah. So you're like, who the heck are you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I wish I knew. Obviously, you can't. Like, with any big thing. Yeah. But I wish I knew. Like, how so you to be when you came out. So it could be like. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like try to talk to him, but I was like, it was weird. I don't know what to say. I don't know you. Yeah. Yeah. I never really felt like I had like always wanted to be a mom. Like I just felt it in my bones. Yeah. But then like, yeah, I feel like when women say that they never felt like connected, I never felt really connected to Wax when I was pregnant. He just kind of just felt like a, another human. But I didn't know who he was. Yeah. I was like, okay. I didn't talk to him a lot. <laughs> yeah, I felt like I needed to talk to him. I don't know. It was like, you can just hear him sitting in the car. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you can hear mom and dad talk. <laughs> yeah. I don't yeah. think I talked to Arthur. I probably talked to Vivian more because yes. I knew kind of more what to expect. Like, you are going to grow into somebody that I like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're going to be really cool yeah. because we're really cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Other than that, physically, like I loved my belly growing. I loved being like putting on clothes that I would wear when I wasn't pregnant. I put them on when I was pregnant. I just like strapped them over my belly. <laughs> like, and like the fact that you're like meant to have a belly and show it off is when we're like, it's so much more. Yeah. Fun. It's so fun. Yeah. So like, I'm going to just, like, look like that. I know. I'm, like, still in the in-between stage almost where I'm, like, you look like you're really. No, you look perfect. You look perfect. I don't know. You look really. Uh, well, okay, like, <laughs> like, five weeks ago, you're just, like, in that in-between stage where you're like, I look like I'm bloated. I ate a lot of lunch. Like, you're trying to, look, like, your pants don't go in where they used to. And you're just, like, this yeah. is. It's, like, uncomfortable. Yeah. Trying to figure out what clothes to wear. And you're like, do I wear a below or <laughs> <laughs> another support? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Leggings. Yeah. All the okay. time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what then is? Anything else you want to add for pregnancy? Like, was Walter, do he like love your belly? Oh, I yeah. bet he did. Yeah. I mean, I would be like, rub my belly and. I think he was like weird and top of it. Like, and I feel like every time I was like, the baby's ticking. He was trying to figure it out. Um, yeah. <laughs> Always made right. up a code word. I mean, that's what they do. Yeah. They like go and hide. They know. <laughs> mm-hmm. Dad says. Yeah. <laughs> no, he was probably so tired of me complaining about everything constantly. I like enjoyed it so much and I miss being pregnant so much. But when I think back, I was like, God, I was like, my knee back <laughs> my feet are we were my back yeah but he did get me like a pregnancy pillow and like he was he was very very supportive of all my complaints that's awesome yeah I like they see the worst parts of us yeah I know and yeah. they're like allowed to be like take care of me and like do things for me <laughs> yes I'm growing a human and that's in my belly and it's half yours so yeah. i have to do these things for me <laughs> you have to this <laughs> that's where i go go about like if you have a craving like let me know but i didn't have like i didn't need anything like right away mm-hmm. like you know would be there like i need brownies go give me brownie that's right now <laughs> i just like constantly ate sweets but so we just kept in the house good old times good job uh, yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, I would send Jason out for cannolis. So they were. That was my pregnancy craving with. Do you like cannolis a lot? Not pregnant. Yeah, but like if I'm at an Italian restaurant. Yeah, but not like I'm sitting on the couch like. No, I'm not even right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it wasn't like close by. It was at least like a 15 minute drive. Mm-hmm. And it had to be from Anthony notes. Oh, well, you know, like. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's fast. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I eat like a man when I'm pregnant. Lots of ground beef. <laughs> like, like a taco. Tacos, 
burgers with extra pickles. Ugh. I want all the red meat, which like I try to stay away from it when I'm not pregnant, but chicken is the worst. Mm. Oh yeah. See, I had no I had no aversions. Oh. I was never nauseous. I ate everything. Ice cream cookie or chocolate cookie ice cream sandwiches were mm. I I was like turning Walter. I was like, I can't even explain to you how good it is. <laughs> like I know you're eating one, but the yeah. way that it feels for me. <laughs> I can't explain it to you. It's <laughs> so <laughs> good. Have you had the ones from Trader Joe's? Ooh. Oh, I'm bringing you a box the next time I see you. Wait, it will be. You're gonna go you back and reel it down because I'm not pregnant. But you're gonna go back to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just remember being like, I can't even explain how good it is. It makes me feel so good. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, it was, that was. I forgot about that until just now. <laughs> Let's see. If there's anything else that we'll do pregnancy. I try to stay active. Mm -hmm. Good job. Aaron Barkley actually or Aaron Phoenix actually told me that she was like, just keep walking, keep walking dogs, because I walk Winston, Lauren's dog. Yeah. And watch your sort of walk past Aaron and Jordan's house all the time. Yeah. And she would see me walking and she just keep walking. <laughs> She's like, eventually we're just gonna walk your baby out. <laughs> <laughs> Which didn't happen. But so Wally was born in December and I walked it till November wow. and I hired people to walk for me. So like I was, I definitely cut down like a lot on walks because I would have yeah, rather do nothing all day. But yeah, I don't need to walk around a little bit. Mm -hmm. And you're like scheduled to walk. I'm like, oh, I should probably go on a walk. Oh, you can, no, I had to. Like if I wasn't getting paid to do it. Yeah, I would not. <laughs> So that was the issue. That was the best part. Yeah. I kept up walking with Vivian for a lot of my pregnancy because it was COVID and I didn't have anything else to do. Yeah. Uh -huh. I was like working from home. I'm like, I guess I have to walk. Like, <laughs> I don't have a walk. <laughs> yeah, very few. There's no reason for me not to be walking. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I guess that was another thing. Now that you brought up COVID, the vaccine had like, was still like very new where I was pregnant and I actually was scheduled to go get it. Before I was pregnant, and I like, went to the site or whatever, the guy was like, stop me at the gate. He was like, they're all out of vaccines. It was like, Water. So I rescheduled another appointment. Then I found out, found out I was pregnant. And when I talked to my OB about it, like the nurse practitioners, they were like, yeah, I think you can get it. It's up to you. And like, I hated that response. Because I was like, just tell me to get is it yeah. recommended? Yeah, yeah. Right. like I'm freaking out. Uh, I hate right. soul. Like, yeah. I, don't know, I do. So I basically waited until my OB was like, "You have to get it." Mm -hmm. I don't remember how many months I was, but I went in and I was like, "Any?" Because I was like checking up with her like constantly about it, and I was like, "Any more word on you know the COVID vaccine?" She's too many pregnant people are getting sick and they're being really, really sick. And I don't want you to get sick. You have to get it. Yeah. It's just like, okay, deal. Yeah. And that's what I need you do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's been my doctor since I was 15. So like, I trust her like wholeheartedly. That was good. So yeah, but that was, I cried about that a lot. Because it was just like a lot of pressure. We'll go back and forth. I'd be like, I just want to get it. Everyone else is getting it. I feel like I need to be getting this. <laughs> yeah. You know, but I also didn't want to put my baby at risk. And it was just... It was hard. Yeah. yeah. I feel like it changed so fast, too. Like, there was no studies on pregnant women getting the vaccine. And then it was like, no, everybody, every pregnant woman needs to get it. And I remember getting it. I was like 37 weeks pregnant. Yeah. But at that point, it's like, he's fully formed. He's pretty big. Yeah. yeah. Like, he's good. <laughs> We're good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My doctor was like, pregnant women on ventilators. We're not going to deal with that. Go get it. I was like, okay. Um, just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me. It was scary. Yeah. 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 I would have so much anxiety about that. Like, call Ultra Crime. And like, I'd be like, you don't understand. Like, you're not going through it. Like, you are, you are you. You can go do huh. what you want. Like, I walk around with this little person inside me. I need to make sure I'm being safe for them. Yeah. yeah. It's just. Mm -hmm. Well, I hate we have that a lot of space. Yeah. So, like, I'm pregnant. It was a lot. Yeah. 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 Stupid COVID. I know, I know. Did you get your second vaccine when you? Yeah. 
We're pregnant still. I can't. My timeline is off. <laughs> I want to say yeah. 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 Because I got. Yes. That's good. Yeah. I got my second vaccine three days postpartum. And they're like, are you going to be here in three weeks? I'm like, if I don't have this baby, I will. <laughs> did you get sick at all? Yeah. Did you have dog sex? Uh, <laughs> But yeah, I, I felt like pretty normal blue for like oh, two God. days so, oh, with both first and second. I like I'm looking forward to the third, but like not. Yeah. You know. Yeah. 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 Like, so you don't really feel like uh, I'm going to have to like take the day off after it's like 12 hours after. Mm-hmm. That's when it hits me. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. And you have to time that right because you don't want really to wake up in the middle of the night and just feel like garbage. Yeah. yeah. You're just not a sore arm. Me too. It was fine. Lucky. <laughs> I wonder if it had anything to do with like being pregnant. I don't know. I don't know. Wow. I don't I mean I don't know science, so yeah. <laughs> I'm not a scientist either. Yeah. Boom. Science. <laughs> I just try to correlate things like that. Probably have no correlation whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, I call my sister every day and complain about things. And like I always say, like, well, I'm not like a scientist or like I'm not this, but like here are my thoughts. Yeah. And she's like, that's wrong. Mary won't lie to you. No. <laughs> she's very honest. So, Bert. <laughs> yeah. You ready? Yeah. So, as much as I wanted Wally to come naturally. He did not. And my doctor, she, we went into her office and she was like, okay, so here's the schedule. We're going to play, we're going to set you up for an induction. I don't work these days. I do work these days, so you can take these three days. And it was like, oh, this is very much like a business. Okay. Yeah. Like, that's not So we picked the 12th. He was doing the 10th. I didn't want to go earlier than his due date. I worked to wait till after. Mm-hmm. So we picked the 12th, and they were like, we'll call you around too. So Walter and I, that day, we were like, let's go get some brunch. We were just. Where is it? Down here. It'll go to Southwest down here. Mm-hmm. But they weren't doing indoor seating, so we had to get it to go. And for some reason, I was like, I'm going to get a Slayer. Okay. <laughs> On the day. Oh, God. I think it was So we got our food to go. We went home. We're watching Marvel movies because Walter is like, we're having a sermon. And we need to know all about the characters. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, cool. Well, he's not going to talk for a room. Which are... <laughs> Give me time. Those movies just... I fell asleep. So they called us at one and they were like, Yay, we're ahead of schedule. Do you guys want to come in earlier? I was like, some <laughs> Um, hold on one second. Hey, Pete Walter, do you want to go in earlier? <laughs> and he was like, What? No for Yeah. Sure. So they're like, Okay, you have an hour to get here. I was like, okay. Okay. So we had to like follow his mom to get to the house and watch Dobby. And then we just swerved to the hospital. And, like, I was, like, super cool. I was, like, ready or not, here comes the baby. So, like, <laughs> I guess I'm just going to be, like, do what you need to do. So we're, like, checking in. They take us up to the room. They hook us up to everything and hook me up to mm-hmm. And we were right across from the pantry where they had the jar of water. Which was, <laughs> which was, I was, like, <laughs> sandwiches. Yeah, I really ate one of them. Stupid. So, yeah, there was, it was around Christmas, so there were National Rampoon's vacation movie marathon on. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm like, I'm hooked up, I'm like, laying on the bed, and I'm like, and I'm like, I wasn't dilated at all when I got there. So they were like, okay, so they started me on the medication socket cervix, which I heard they can either put it up by your cervix and take it orally. My doctor told them to do it early it was like great mm-hmm. that sounds bad so i think it was the first nurse i had actually ended up being the nurse that delivered wally i went through three ships of nurses <laughs> oh my god so the first row we had it was like really short she was super nice it was like i hope the girl comes back she was so nice and she like made me feel really comfortable and she was just i don't know very cool. Mm-hmm. So I'm watching the movies. Walter's laying on the couch, like, this is uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know where that. I thought <laughs> <don't laughs> he was uncomfortable. And he had like this little, like, paper blanket. But he's so tall, too. 
<laughs> yeah. I think he ended up hanging out in the chair more than the couch. I don't know. Either way. He was fine. So the second nurse came in and this was like the overnight nurse. Mm-hmm. And she was coming in every couple hours to check me. And I felt really bad because I I don't think I smiled at her one time. Because like, you know, you don't know what to expect like your first pregnancy. And I was just like, this is not moving fast enough for me <laughs> she'd be like oh still what centimeter and she was like this spring and she was so quiet she was so nice and i was like go away either tell me i'm dilated or go away <laughs> yeah <laughs> so her shift was over and i still think about i'm like it should have been nicer it's hard though when you're getting woken up and then somebody's fingers are going all the way up your vagina yeah. and she would always be like do you mind if i touch go ahead yeah thank you for asking yeah, <laughs> very nice. She was very nice. So I don't remember how many rounds of that we did, but it was a good amount of hours. Morning time comes, ship change, and this nurse was like my party nurse. Like she came in <laughs> and she was just like ready to go. She was like, "I'm gonna be your nurse that delivers your baby. Like, let's do the get up work. Like, having me like do workouts. She's like, let's progress this. Let's go. It was like, yes. Like, she had me feeling like I was at the club. Like, she was <laughs> a really good time. Back in awesome. Pops. <laughs> yeah. I think it was Bali. She, unfortunately, did not deliver her wallet. But, so that morning that she had started her shift, she called Dr. LeMoyne, and they decided they were going to break my water. Dr. LeMoyne comes in, like, like she just got, like, straight out of the shower. Her hair's still wet. She comes in, and she grabs, like, the little stick that looks like the thing... They use them, like, don't break the ice, you know? Yeah. She just breaks my water. It was, like, literally 15 seconds. Like, I don't even remember her being in the room. She was like, you going in? And then I was like, okay. okay. Yeah. I was, like, expecting to hurt. I did not. Just a lot of wetness. <laughs> Warm wetness. So after they broke my water, about two hours later, I started to have contractions. And obviously, you don't, like, you know what they're going to feel like. Yeah, when you're a first-time mom, you're just like. I, mean, I wanted. I obviously wanted to see like how far along I could go without an epidural. I planned on getting an epidural, but I wanted to see how far along I could go. And I did not make it very far. Two centimeters dilated until I was like, "Let's just let's do it." Mm-hmm. <laughs> she was like, the nurse was like, "All right, so I can either put the order in now for the epidural, or I can wait until you're ready." But I'm not sure how long. It, yeah, it's gonna take them to get in here. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Okay, let me just let me go to the bathroom for a second and she was like okay so i went in the bathroom and i was like i tried to poop because i don't want to poop on the table i know you do <laughs> yeah i know it's just gonna happen <laughs> i ended up just like sitting on the toilet and like having contractions and sweating my ass off <laughs> and it was like this sucks so bad i'm gonna get that girl like let's let's just do it so i pulled the trigger on that and the anesthesiologist I cannot say that word came in and Lauren actually told me that her neighbor across the street was an anesthesiologist at Mercy I was just like oh interesting so he's like just making small talk with me and I brought a dog walking and he's like oh dog walking you walked out to Webster and I was just like yeah I walk you know this dog's Winston my friend Warren blah 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 and he was like oh look those are my neighbors <laughs> 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 yeah so i actually saw him recently when i was walking words and he was like hey when are we gonna see you back at the hospital and i was like i'm trying to figure out how to keep this one alive <laughs> see you in a few years i don't know <laughs> but i'm surprised um, he remembered you it's really a memory yeah i think like i was like my date out of the crowd <laughs> <laughs> yeah it was nice it was like your action yeah what your job was though yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Yeah. But yeah, it was a good distraction from what, you know, everything yeah. happening in your bed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't have any issues with the epidural. I like, had read about it could be or like, pull it alongside or whatever. Yeah. I had no issues. And the nap I took after I got the epidural was, I think about it all the time. <laughs> the best nap of my life. <laughs> Like she just put that peanut ball like between her legs and she was just like, right, sister, take a nap. Yeah. I was like, okay, that's the good stuff. <laughs> but then I felt so good that I didn't want to nap anymore. She was like, you should take a nap. I was like, no. 
let's party. <laughs> <laughs> like, let's go. Yeah. So you didn't feel a contraction until they broke your water at the hospital? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. He was just really cozy. Yeah. He did not want to leave. Oh. Didn't want to be greeted with a St. Louis winter or something. <laughs> well, the day that I have him, it's only like seven degrees outside. Whoa. Yeah. That's wild. Yeah. December's so weird here. St. Louis is so yeah. stupid. <laughs> it does. Uh, no. Yeah. I didn't feel any contractions until she like had me really like moving. She had me doing like the, the Captain Morgan stance. <laughs> is what she called it and i'd be like bouncing and squatting and i was just like i don't want to move anymore i just don't want to feel the lower part of my body anymore yeah i'm over it yeah yeah once your waters are gone those contractions are yeah whew, rough yeah because you have the water in there like kind of cushioning but mm-hmm. after that it's go time <laughs> <laughs> yeah i yeah. I mean, I have like a tattoo that goes on my spine, a tattoo like on my ribs. Like you'd think I'd be able to handle like some pain, but I was like, no. Mm-mm. <laughs> no. I have tattoos. Yeah, I said, <laughs> hey, no. <laughs> Don't worry. Epidur art. Contractions are bloating. They're brutal. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that was on the 13th that all this was going on. So shift change again. It was the original nurse. The, my party nurse was like, I'm going to make sure that I bring you someone that I don't hate. <laughs> That's what she said. It was like, good news. Because <laughs> I also don't really hate them. No, nurses are great. I should not say things like that. So it was the original nurse and things were just like, they were still progressing really slow. Eventually she was like, all right, let's practice pushing. And I did poop on the bed. And she was like so discreet about I knew what she was doing because mm-hmm. I was watching her. Walter didn't know, though. He was like, yeah, it was weird. <laughs> she was, I was like, 10 out of 10 for her. Good job. And I pushed for three hours. There was a friend's there at the alumno. So we were watching that. She was having me try, like, all these positions. Everything was awkward except for just, like, laying on my back. Mm-hmm. She had me, like, doing some weird things with my legs. And I was like, she kept being like, does that feel like it's working? And I'm like, cool. Yeah, it feels like I'm pushing. I don't know. Yeah. So yeah, push for three hours. Walter held my leg for every push. Eventually, he was like getting. He's like me. Like we, it was just like instant gratification. It's like let's go. Yeah, this is taking a long time. <laughs> so he was like, "Are you gonna call the doctor?" Like he answered at least like a thousand times. Like, Are you gonna call the doctor? Because she'd be like, "Good job, push, 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 push," and he'd be like, "Wait." I'm going to call the daughter. She's like, <laughs> I will call her. Like, she's going to get mad at me if I call her too soon. She only lives like five minutes away. I think it, me and Aaron Felix are the same doctor. I remember her saying, her, that she was like, my doctor only lives a minute away. Like, yeah. And then she'll be right here. <laughs> yeah. So she eventually called her. And before she had gotten there, she like, the nurse left the room and I was like shaking really bad. I was super mm-hmm. nauseous. And like my back, my back was just like shooting pain. And it was like, that was probably the most cream I had, which was, it was bearable, but I was like, I don't feel good. So yeah. I did some anti nausea stuff. Such a baby. Good. But yeah, like before I knew it, there were, like, the nurse was there and then there was another lady who left. And I don't remember her name. She introduced herself, but whatever. <laughs> another lady down here that. Doc in the Lord's down here, and everybody's just like, push, push, push. Like, you're doing great. You know, they're like, you're, you know, you're a pro. You're a pro pusher. But I'm pretty sure they tell, like, everyone that it makes you feel really good about yourself. So yeah. Like, yes. The lady to my left was like, it's heads out. Do you want to see him? And I was like, I must have said yes. Because, like, before I knew it, I was, like, bent over, like, looking at my own vagina. <laughs> and while it was like, wow, cool, I never, ever would see that. Again, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> then she was like, Walter, do you want to look? And my OB like immediately was like, No, he's too tall to pick up off the ground. So, <laughs> 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 like so yeah, like and one second of the nurse was there, and then like another second, there was four people in the room. And, and, 
I don't know. I just feel like the nurse is there for like all this time, and then your doctor gets there like right before your baby gets bored. There's that fiction, maybe it's wild. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, like I could feel them like coming out, like of the birth. I don't know. It's it's crazy. Yeah, it's a very crazy feeling. It didn't hurt, but it was just like, uh-oh. obviously, you know, yeah, kids. <laughs> but I had a second degree tear, so while she was. Stitching me up, they, we did skin to skin. They did have to convert his umbilical cord. I wanted to do like the magical transfusion, whatever, but his cord was too short. Mm-hmm. So, which I had like read about, but I was like, ew, but yeah. And then it happened. That happened to me too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> strange. Yeah. I was like, what? Yeah. They were like, <laughs> It's, something's is there enough <laughs> yeah so they put this cord and like they put him on my chest and i like looked over at walter to see his reaction and while he had like had tears in his eyes i could tell he was like and it is so long i feel like you will be in a birth canal for three hours <laughs> don't have a long head yeah as his head was very long ditto <laughs> not for me but, but for what <laughs> such a but weird time is perfect now so it is perfect yeah with the perfect face yeah <laughs> yeah and i was just and i regretted so much not taking naps because i was so <sighs> tired i've never been so tired because i'm yawning yeah it's well, like running a marathon it is yeah and like while you're doing all the pushing like you don't realize how tired mm-hmm and then it's over you. <laughs> Exerting so much. You have to eat it now. Yeah. I'm tired. <laughs> for <laughs> two hours. Every two hours for the rest of your life. Yeah. No. Yeah, I did. I started. She had me breastfeed right away. And the nurse was like, does it feel like it's working? And I was like, what? What is your question? She's like, she she said, can you feel it? And I was like, what do you mean? What, what am I supposed to feel? feel? Like now, like, I feel that I have a letdown. Okay. And then pumping or if i'm breastfeeding him like i know like, i didn't know that it was like i don't know if his mouth is on it <laughs> is it working <laughs> you tell me honey yeah they're the professional yeah yeah we just want to like open their mouth like is there is there milk in there i don't know yeah tell me <laughs> and like we don't even i barely have milk with it's like the colostrum and yeah. like nothing it's drops yeah belly it's there yeah mm-hmm. i did have a turkey sandwich at that point though mm-hmm. exactly good i was so tired that it like my mouth was so dry it's just like, <laughs> i'm pretty sure the nurse was like she's a corpse we need to take her to another <laughs> level because <laughs> she because i was holding only she kept asking me like do you want me to set them in the bassinet and i was just like i must have just been sleeping while holding them. do you want me to set them in the bassinet Were you and mother baby at that point? No. We were still up in the delivery room. I think she walked out of the room and I took like a, like a 25-minute nap in the delivery room. Uh, and then we moved down. So then, And we were only there. So we I had him at 1.29 a.m. on the 14th. Mm-hmm. Let's go get his birthday. On the 14th. And we were home on the 15th. And I was like, I just wanted to go. Yeah. I wanted to, like, just get my life started. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's, you know, this is going to be hard. Let's just go. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to do a shower. Yeah. Shower, yeah. Mm-hmm. And I didn't have any issues with, like, I know people that have issues with, like, pooping. Good one. Mm-hmm. Yes. The good stuff. <laughs> My sister scared the shit out of me for a poop afterwards. Yeah, I heard like horrible stories. Yeah, I was pooping. Yes, was yeah, you were good right after. I think you even texted me like, and I'm pooping. I'm pooping. <laughs> we're good. <laughs> I TMI, but what's not TMI here? Yeah, we I was pooping like by the time I got to mother baby, and so was I. I pooped on there. Yeah, it was glorious. My sister scared the crap out of me. She's like. That thing was worse than pushing on a baby. And that was 18 years ago. I think her. it also depends on how you think natural. Some people have to push on the pink and some people just sit down. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I think it just sure depends. Yeah. We, I, I like remember telling Walter, I was like, I have to put people. Good, sir. 
<laughs> Brain work. Too bad. I just, I learned a trick or I heard a trick where like you just take some toilet paper and push, put it where like, in, you know, your parent, what's it called? Parent? Yeah. Hold there while you poop. And that helps. I think I remember you telling me that before. That's a good yeah. yeah. I might have done that. Because the stitches are like just, it's like, yeah. It feels just like, and you're over there, I just so that rip apart, but you're not. Unless yeah. yeah. You have other things going on, but <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That string on my stitches was like really long. And that bothered me. That's weird. I would have asked him to cut it. I'd be like, I didn't even notice that she went to me. Yeah, I took a shower. It was like, oh, oh. Like, I'm not going to trip. That'd be, yeah. 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 I don't want to slip. <laughs> yeah. I'm freaking out. I'm just going to shove it. <laughs> I hope that everything's okay. <laughs> <laughs> like having like a tampon string, but not being on your period. Yeah. <laughs> don't accidentally do it. it. No. It's guys are No. Make my <laughs> it's like wild how much your vagina goes through. And yeah. And you're just like, they're like, okay, bye. Yeah. Don't look forget to feed your baby. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. Pretty much. <laughs> mm-hmm. Do this, but don't do this. Mm-hmm. Don't do this, but do this. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I just like, just like one day at a time. I try to be like very confident and be like, I can do it because I was not good about. I had the books, but I, I didn't read them. <laughs> so I was just. I had a friend to reach. She was like, "Yeah, I read them. They just like every, all the information just like fell out of my head." She was like, "It's pointless." It was like, yeah, I never, you know. yeah, anything like that I had in my head that I wanted to use, I had to tell Sam. Mm-hmm. Did we use anything? No, nope. like you know. I was like trying to go naturally and like the horse lips. I was trying to like do it all. And I was trying so hard and then I just forgot about it. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You don't forget. Because it's just like, yeah, the moment you're like, just need to do it. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Get through the contraction. When you're back home, you're like, am I supposed to be doing this or this? And then you just Google it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. Like, so, like, the search history of my phone is to be so weird, but, like, I Googled <laughs> everything. Like, yeah. Everything. Like, when it came to, like, I'm like, it's weird. What? I'm going to Google that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it was just concert. That's, like, the great thing about having technology, but also it's shit with having technology right now. Yeah. There's way too much. Yeah. You know, like, yeah, 60 different answers. Mm-hmm. We're like, mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Well, he burped weird. Does that mean like he has cancer or yeah. like I just need to hold him differently? Yeah. <laughs> Something so simple. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My sister would say that too. She's like, I would hate to be like a new parent right now. Like you have so many different things to like listen to mm-hmm. or and you have to do. And it's mm-hmm. almost like you're like, well, if I read it on the internet, it's got to be true. Mm-hmm. Right. Why would it be out there? And yeah. then it's, there's so much, like, hey, on the other side of whatever. And we're like, you know, should I swaddle my baby? And people are like, no, you should be sleeping with your baby in your bed. <laughs> and we're like, wait, what? And then the other side are like, you can never sleep with your baby. <laughs> Just like, <laughs> shit, man. <laughs> there's no winning. <laughs> no. You just have to do... What works for you, and that's it. Yeah, Warren has had told me, still tells me that, like, do what works for you. Yeah, I have like a bad habit of not comparing, but like, if someone tells me like something works for them, okay. yeah, they also look <laughs> shit. It didn't work. She's like, what yeah. works for? You? Yeah, <laughs> like, oh yeah, <laughs> I said that. Yeah, <laughs> and I like try to say that to like new moms who were asking me. Or, like, friends. I'm like, this is what worked for me. Because I don't want it to be, like, I have to give you exactly what worked. And you have to use it. Yeah. I hate that. I would hate that, like, feeling. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I had a friend who used, I forgot what. It's, like, two verses that wrote 
when their mom's on call. Yes. I love that. Okay. Well, she's at, she's like, it's great. Like we've all the schedule, like she's sleeping this long, blah, blah, blah. And I tried it and I just like had a mental breakdown. Mm -hmm. Like it just wasn't working for us. And it was just, I was like, what if we do it wrong? Like, yeah, you know, is there something me? Is there something wrong with them? Like, how could it work so well for her? And I would just like go into the bedroom and just like lay on the bed and just like, cry. And be like, Walter, well, so hard. But we're just not because of like my schedule, like the dog walking schedule and everything. Yeah. We're just not very strict about time. Yeah. We have a schedule, but we just can't do it. Yeah. Um, and not for us. Yeah. Each kid is so different too. Yeah. Like, yeah. Maybe and like thrived on a schedule. Like, yeah. It's three o'clock and it's her nap time. She's like, put me down in my crib right mm -hmm. now. Yeah. But like Arthur, yeah, we just like, we would be like out and about and like, oh, it's his nap time. And he would just like sleep wherever. And yeah, yeah it's so different. And then I forgot what I was going to say. I had a point, but never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's so true. I don't even know what this one's going to be like. Like Wes was easy and exactly kind of like what you said like just pump me in my crib yeah i'll be good mm -hmm. and i was like who knows what's gonna happen yeah well i'm sure people are like well the first one that's good the second one's gonna be a terror <laughs> sure you that. that's all i hear that's what i heard too and vivian was not at all she is so good mm. she was so good <laughs> was it good <laughs> change like it's a completely different story but <laughs> they were both really good baby so yeah. i had lucky or i wasn't and that's just how they were so. mm -hmm. yeah you don't know anything else for your kids <laughs> you have to care yeah. <laughs> i don't know what i was gonna say like even as adults like some of us thrive on a schedule and some of us don't so we're, yeah. you know we can't expect every baby to like yeah this must work for you and it's it doesn't you're failing as a mom or something yes we have to treat our babies like they are little human beings and yeah they happen to be yeah. <laughs> wild <laughs> they are and they have bad days and they have good days so yeah they yeah have emotion so yes yes <sighs> there's a lot of feelings right now this top teeth are coming in and she's like how's your name like, He's yelled at me a lot today. <laughs> he doesn't speak words yet, but he yelled at me <laughs> like he's mad. <laughs> it doesn't, isn't affecting his sleep at all, though. So oh, that's good. good. Yeah. The only thing that matters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's just as legal. It's good. I'm going to eat a bunch of ice cream sandwiches. Why don't taste as good as when you were pregnant? No. 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 Maybe these Trader Joe's ones will, though. Be I'm setting this bar really high, but they're really I think Trader Joe's brand. I don't know. I don't know. I'm getting them Trader Joe's. I think they're so good. I'll ship you a box, honey, <laughs> on dry ice. <laughs> Please don't do that. We live so close to each other. I will drive you. We do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, why are we shipping? <laughs> we in the city. I'll meet you at the hideaway. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. I actually haven't been there. Walter and I have been on like two date nights. And I think we've gone to the night away both times, like right before we went to dinner. And it's just, it's not the same. Yeah. No. Because when you used to go in there and just sit like, we walked out. <laughs> that <laughs> sounds not right. <laughs> we were there a lot when the Blues were in the playoffs. And yeah, black, blackout central there. <laughs> <laughs> right down the street, though. You didn't really have to go very far. You are very close. We are very close. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I've been there in a really long time. Yeah. Yeah. So your postpartum was pretty good or? They definitely. So breastfeeding was good for a while. Then the doctor said I needed to start supplementing with pumping because I needed to get weight. Mm -hmm. At that point, I just was feeling like just from being retired and dehydrated, like I just was very overstimulated and it got to the point where like I was feeding him one day and I was like, I don't even want right now. And I felt like obviously through mom yelled at that point, like, yeah, I need your baby. 
you should not have socks. Like you don't want your baby touching. But so I took a week off for breastfeeding and strictly pumped. Mm-hmm. And that like kind of reset my mind. So I've been breastfeeding since then. That's really good. Like advice, like yeah, a little reason. Just yeah, yeah. like if you need a break, take it. <laughs> like, yeah, we feel so much guilt and, and you know, all oh, it's gonna mess up our breastfeeding or whatever it is but that's really good that it worked for you and yeah yeah it's so easy to get touched out mm-hmm. yeah i didn't realize like i was that was one thing that i was going like a lot i was like why why don't i want my baby to touch me <laughs> like why am i like like it literally made my skin crawl mm. i was like walter i'm trying to, like i was trying to explain it to her like it just it makes me feel like yeah get away from me yeah and it was like can you talk to somebody? I was like, yes, probably. <laughs> Which I never did. And I definitely had a case of undiagnosed postpartum anxiety because from what I've listened to on your like previous episodes, we had guests over. Granted, it was only like grandparents and sister, but people would come over and they like just out of my natural instinct, like as being a host, like I want things to be clean. Yeah. Here, and, you know, so I'll make sure like the house would put together and people come over. The entire time they were over, I'd be like, like I don't, don't want to talk to anybody and then like they'd be like how are you doing I'm good mm-hmm. great doing good yeah I'm just gonna go feed them <laughs> yeah please just leave and yeah like I would just go through like every little phase where like like everything's hard every new phase is hard when you're a new mom like figuring everything out mm-hmm. I'd be like this is the hardest then then it'd be a new phase <laughs> This is not it. <laughs> and like I get big feelings about things like that. But it will tell a story. Reassure me every time he's like, remember, we made it through him not taking naps. Yeah. Here we are now. He's a nap and pro. <laughs> and like, you know, we when we started salads, he's like, like I was like, I keep doing it. It's too hard. It's too scary. I can't do it. Like he's just gonna eat it's much food forever. <laughs> and he was like, make it through this one too. We're gonna make it. I'm like yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Now he's really. doing such a good job. He is. And now it's fun to feed him. Yeah. Like Warren told me, she was like, it's fun feeding Merritt and love giving her new foods and seeing like her reaction. And he was like, what? No. Like, you gave Wooly a strawberry. Where is it? Just give him a strawberry. Like, yeah. Try it. Again, and he like put it in his mouth and he put it like a little too far in it. Just like, <laughs> but now he eats all the time same with bread i like he took like a really big bite of bread and i was like nope nope <laughs> Ro- 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 <laughs> we don't eat bread <laughs> but now yeah she had some avocado toast the other day like, it's good to go that's awesome yeah yeah what else postpartum oh i never really asked people about like like, obviously, what your body goes through postpartum <laughs> sucked so bad. I've never felt more disgusting and smelly. In my <laughs> luckily, Walter, that sounds shitty to be like, luckily, Walter wouldn't shower every day. But, like, you know, <laughs> yeah, your baby's like constantly attached to you. It, but I showered every day and still with like, but I'm a fresh diaper. Or I'm going to feel real clean. clean. And then you just don't, like, you just feel gross. <laughs> yeah. And that was just, that was hard for me. Yeah, I saw a reel today or TikTok or something that they were calling it like the postpartum stank. Yeah. <laughs> like, hmm? Yep. Like, you just, yeah, my sister came over and I was wearing like some like, shitty pajama shorts and like a big shirt. And I was like, just like creeping on the couch with my diaper. <laughs> I was like, do you guys hear that? Do you smell? <laughs> like, I'm so gross. No, we don't. <laughs> just go away. <laughs> just like feels like we're sitting in it and the yeah. diaper is so big. Yeah. I just like remember like that feeling of like pads or something in like high school. Yeah. And yeah, all you need to wear is like a tampon, but you can't put a tampon on your newly birthed vagina. No, no it's just an irrigating hole. Yeah. What are you doing with it? And there's a very distinct smell to the look. Is it loca? Loca? Yeah. Something. There's a yeah. A name to it, but it's 
Yeah. <laughs> I could still like it. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. It's so worse. And then I probably should have seen, I'm so not good at going to doctors or talking to people when I should. I probably should have seen a pelvic floor therapist. There was probably like a good couple of days where like if I stood for more than 30 seconds, I like, like it was the pressure and the weight in my vagina was just unbearable. Like, I would go to change Wally's diaper and I'd have to, like, be like, Walter, come in here. And, like, I'd have to sit down and be like, I'm changing the diaper. Eventually, they just, like, went away, though. Hmm. That's what it said. It, would, it sucked. And I didn't tell you about it. It was just like, <laughs> oh, okay, hopefully it goes away. <laughs> I'm like, I guess this is just normal. Like, yeah, because, like, no, I'm not really wrenching anything about it. Yeah. That sounds so bad. I probably should have heard of that. I mean, like, Really? I've never heard about that. Right? Yeah, I had a... I think yeah. all the organs are stone. Yeah. Oh. I would, like, try to, like... It, do I have a prolapse? But it wasn't. It was just my cervix was just still down there. Mm, very very level. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. <clears throat> yeah. I never really, like, heard anybody say that. So, yeah, it's just long and sweet. Maybe all the organs did I'd write down these I mean, it's very hard to say you are a corpse. <laughs> <laughs> well thanks so much for coming on tonight eleni it was so great to hear your birth story of cutie wally thank you for having me it was so fun yeah and we can link some a let of eleni's dog walking and her instagram on door show notes if you want to follow her and give her some love feel free to leave us a review if you have anything to say I'm like, I just think a lot of things. All right. See you. See you. <laughs> <laughs>